So I just Googled how long do I need to study for the MCAT or how long should I study for the MCAT? And it says at least four to six months, which when I first read that, I was like, yeah, that's cool. Okay, whatever. But honestly, I think about how I just studied for step one, which is the first licensing exam that you have to take in medical school after your second year. And I studied for four weeks. And let's be honest, a lot of you guys don't have four to six months, especially people who are retesting and have to get their MCAT under the belt before this application cycle is over. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to study in two months using our IFD UWorld high yield course. Honestly, it could be the high yield course with or without UWorld, but I think with UWorld's probably better. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Maggie. I'm a third year medical student and a former professional MCAT tutor, and I run this channel and this business with my brother, John. Now in the near future, I will make videos. We will make videos about how to study for the MCAT using our products or not, it doesn't matter, but I'm doing this video specifically on the high yield course because we've just gotten a lot of questions about it. Like people will get it and then they'll email us and they'll be like, how do I use it? And that's honestly, that's our bad. Like we left it very open and vague about how to use it because we want this to be really customizable to you and like personalizable. But I think that that has inadvertently caused a lot of confusion about how I like how we would use this product, how we intended this product to be used. So this is for all my summer testers and my retesters. I'm gonna show you how to use this product in two months. And I'm going to give you guys like all the background info. Like we're gonna be on the, the creator side of the Wix right now. And I'm gonna show you guys what's really in this product. So this is what this product looks like. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down and this is what it literally looks like when you buy it pretty much exactly like this. There's an Anki mini course that teaches you how to use Anki. This is the bulk of it where all our high yield sciences are, all the videos and all the lectures. And our ebook is also linked in here as well. There's our MCAT math that has a few more more chapters. There's only three even though our book has 10 concepts in it because there were some concepts like the ideal gas law and stuff that are in the high yield sciences portion. So that's why there's only three videos for the MCAT math. There's a strategy section that has like a written out version of our strategy strategies booklet and then all of the strategies videos that are already on our YouTube are also linked in here. And then there's studying advice like like kind of like content review kind of lifestyle advice that we also have in here. It's very similar to the strategies playlist, but it's almost like strategies for balancing kind of the, your schedule and things like that. So that is exactly what's in here. But how do you use this? So the first thing I'm gonna to recommend to anybody who gets this program is to watch all of these Anki mini course videos. Like these videos are like really short, like, like this one's like less than two minutes long. I think all of them together are like maybe 30 minutes, not more than 45. So just watch all of those. You can follow along. It's just John screen recording as he like downloads and installs Anki and then a deck and then like teaches you how to use it. So just have your Anki pulled up at the same time and just kind of like do his settings and all that while you're watching these videos. That's the first thing that you should do before you get anything, before you watch any video on the sciences. Now, like I said, this high yield sciences, this is where the bulk of everything's gonna be. So for instance, I'll select nucleophiles and electrophiles. So you can see that right here, the lecture is going to be just embedded straight into the website. And then there's going to be a PDF of the questions and then there's questions down here. I won't scroll down because that will, um, that will not be what we want to do. So this high yield sciences, I counted it up. I think there's 44 if my memory serves me correctly. And then there's three math. So that's 47 videos that you need to watch um, or 47 chapters that you need to read. However you want to look at that. So if you have two months to study for the MCAT, that's about 60 days. So how I think you should do this is I think you should watch at minimum one video or do one chapter a day. And that's including weekends. Now there are some in here that are really short, like, hold on, I know insulin and glu glucagon, that's a short chapter. Yeah, see the video's like six minutes long, there's only a few questions, and the chapter's really short in the book as well. So when you get to, to ones like that, double up. Don't, don't just do the insulin and glucagon chapter, also do pituitary hormones and feedback loops, or hemoglobin and oxygen saturation curves, that's another short one. So maybe aim to watch at least like 30 minutes of videos a day, whatever that looks like for you, so that you can, finish all your videos in a decent amount of time, um, a month to a month and a half, and then have a couple weeks to just do practice questions and just run through it and just sharpen up those concepts that you are not very good on before you take your test. 
Now, would I go through them in the order that they are put in there? Yeah, I would. So we chose this order because like we got really good feedback from people that the order of our first book was random and it most definitely was. So I tried to organize this in a really like logical way. We start out with like the most foundational kind of concepts that you have to know before you even understand the next concept. And then I also tried to group it sort of by like subject. And so like we're in kind of like the the chem, o chem, moving on into like biochem and bio. We have an abrupt drop off into physics because I did not know how to put physics in there other than to put it up at the top with all the math stuff. And I did not think that y'all would appreciate us coming out the gate with all the physics stuff. And then we kind of have some like um, psych soci and like a couple random things at the bottom. But that is the order that they're put in there because I think that that will facilitate your learning the best. It gives you the most time with the most challenging concepts in like Genchem, Ochem, Biochem type stuff. And then stuff that people typically get pretty quickly, like the psych so stuff, it's at the end and you won't have as much time with it, but you probably won't need as much time with it. So what have I said? Let's watch like at least 30 minutes of lecture or read at least, you know, a couple chapters or something like that every day so that you can have at least like a week or two, like at bare minimum about two weeks probably is a good amount of time to just do practice questions and just do kind of like review content gaps. Now, while you are doing this, I would watch these strategy guides and these studying advice things way early on because things like the flowchart method, we get a lot of, if you've ever watched us um, do the flowchart method in our passage breakdowns, or if you've seen our flowchart method video, then you probably may, if you've looked at the comments, you know, we get a lot of pushback on the flowchart method and people will push back on it and then they'll try it for a few weeks and then they'll be like, this helped me so much because there is a big learning curve to things like the flowchart method. And it takes a long time to learn how to do things like condense to the main idea, like in cars. So you need time with these strategies to figure out how they work and to get them to work for you. So watch these strategy videos early on. They're not too long and try to incorporate them in your passage taking very early on as well. Same with the studying advice. Now, whether that means watching them the first day while you're doing all the Anki mini course stuff or watching them the first week, I think either one of those is probably fine. Now, at the same time, you still need to be going through tons of practice passages from day one. That could be UWorld if you got the course with UWorld in it or if you have UWorld from something else. That should be double AMC stuff. You should be doing practice tests whenever you can, like maybe on the weekends or something like that. And you've got to, got to, got to review those practice questions and actually learn something from them. It's also ideal for you to have some sort of like delayed recall like Anki or Quizlet or paper flashcards. It doesn't really matter. I think Anki is like the easiest. So that's why we tell you that's what we recommend. And there's pre-made decks out there. So it's really nice. It's quick and we give you one with this high yield course, but just some form of delayed recall is really important so that you're not reading a chapter about insulin and glucagon and then completely forgetting what it is. Cause you will do it. I do it. Everyone does it. You will forget what it is unless you make yourself recall it. And guys, I know this sounds like a lot, like, like you're like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta you know, like read these chapters and like practice these strategies and, and do practice questions and review them and do delayed recall. And I never, I never said this was going to be easy. <laughs> this is why studying in, in a shorter amount of time frame is so difficult. And that's probably why Google recommended to me to, to study for four to six months, because you can stretch that stuff out for a longer period of time. But if you're retesting, or if you're just trying to get um, your MCAT under your belt this cycle, this may just be the way that you have to do it. Now, luckily our high yield MCAT course or our ebook, whatever you have, it's written in, in like a very conversational manner. And then me and John, like our videos are very conversational and just like our YouTube videos are. So I don't, I think that the cognitive load to actually read the chapters is a lot lower than something like a textbook. Like we did not write this like a textbook. We wrote this as if we were basically teaching a student about it and just dictating our voices. Like we wrote this to be understood, not to be the most sophisticated publication in the last century. So I know that I still left a few things vague, like I didn't tell you exactly how many videos you need to go through in a day. And I didn't tell you exactly how many hours a day you need to be studying or something like that. And that's because there's no one here that's going to watch this video and be like, 
thank you, Maggie. I have exactly 60 days. And so I'm going to do 1.28 videos a day. Like that's not real life. And so I know everybody that's watching this video is different. And you're going to have a different amount of time to study this material, but I'm telling you just take however many days you have, give yourself like a good week and a half or something at the end, just to do practice questions or practice tests, and then just divide it up from there. Like say, okay, that, well, that means I have, you know, 40 days to, to get through all of the content and there's, you know, 47 videos. So you need to be watching a video and a, a half a day or something like that, you know, and just do the same with your world. Tell yourself, okay, if you want to get through, I forgot how many are in the MCAT. I'm like, I'm like on my step two stuff right now. But take however many are in the MCAT deck and just divide them up by the amount of days that you have to study and just try to get through that amount a day. You may not get through all of them because there's a bunch of UWorld questions, but just get through as many as you can. Do UWorld questions whenever you're, you know, waiting for your food at Panera or whatever. If you want to use this product with our free program, I have a video on that. If you want to know more about how to use UWorld, John made a video on that before. So just search our channel for a little bit and try to watch some more videos if you're still confused. But of course you can always hit our email as well if you still want some more um, feedback or something. All right guys, I hope that this was helpful for all of you people out there that have the High Yield MCAT course or are considering it, but don't know how you would use it. I believe in you guys, two months is not a long amount of time, but I know that you can make huge strides in two months. I think the, the highest score increase I saw was in my last couple months of studying. So I know that you guys can do it too. Best of luck to anyone who is applying this cycle. I know that applications are probably uh, opening up right around now, and that's super exciting. You guys are taking the next step into becoming a doctor, so pat yourselves on the back. Me and John talk about it all the time, but we are so grateful for the small role that we can play in this upcoming generation of doctors. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments down below. Hit like and subscribe and send this video to a friend who's also studying for the MCAT. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.